Welcome back to another episode. Today, it's going to be a bit different because I'm rehearsing for a gig tonight and I thought I'd show you a bit behind the scenes and a bit of a kind of a walkthrough of what it's like to be a drummer. Um, so I've just run through some of the tracks. Um, this is my Roland TD-11, which I like playing on because it's quieter than a, an actual acoustic kit. My acoustic kit is um, all behind me in, in boxes and so forth. And um, I'm basically about to pack up my sound equipment. So if I show you what I've got as a setup. Oh, maybe I can't change the screen. Will it not let me rotate? It's not going to let me rotate. But I will show you what I have as my uh, sound setup. And um, and like roll in. Did they call it roll in? I can't remember now. Yeah, rolling into the venue and um, setting up and playing the gig and so forth. So uh, yeah, this is the, um, the pre-bit for the show. Um, talk to you later. All right, I thought I'd show you my setup. So I've just got a small mixer. It's the um, 802S. And this gives me the ability to control my in-ears. And then from my laptop, I'm basically running tracks. So I don't think I've got it open still. Have I got it open still? Yeah, so I've got Ableton. And this is the version 11. So you can see here I've got all the tracks set up. I then have... Um, in here, I've not got to plug it in because I've moved my laptop. Uh, but in here, I have a jack, which is uh, this thing up here. So I can't do it with two hands. So I've got this little jack that goes into my Mac. It's then split. So you'll see here that it, it splits into a left and right, which I put in. And I put these into the inputs on my DI box. So you see here, input on the right and input on the left. And then above that, I've got my through. So this means that the sound going into the left channel and right channel, which I've I've panned in, in um, Ableton for left and right. So I'm left-handed, so I happen to, um, I think everybody puts little clicks left, but maybe not, but left-handed, left clicks. That's how I remember it. So left is for me and cues, and then the track is on the right. And then, um, from there, I've got two little mini, probably like meter long um, jacks, and I've put them in uh, channel two and three. And then in here, just for now, I have um, an output, my mono output from my kit, and I mix it into the first channel, because typically this is where I put <coughs> the um, fallback. So I plug directly an XLR into here, so I can then mix my own in ears, so obviously I just need them to give me basically Kim's vocals or, uh, or anything else, but it's usually Kim's vocals, maybe a little bit kick. But I rarely have kick in my ears because I can I can feel the kit, and I, I don't have any of the kit in my ears because I can feel it in front of me any, anyway. Um, so I've got left, right. So if I want more of my kind of like more of Kim's vocals, I turn this up. If I want more of click, I turn this. If I want more of backing, I turn this. And then I'm just in uh, phones here. Now, I have run a setup before where I've used the FX out, uh, this FX send, to pass into a splitter that then went into two individual uh, like in-ear monitors. Um, but that's for like uh, for setups when I have other band members. Um, so that's it. And then I've got this like percussion table. Annoyingly, it's a little bit too small to have them side by side without them like bumping. Um, but I just had it this way for now. Um, and then I plug it into a, a massive extension cord. So then everything could be all on this tray and it's all um, set up. So that's my, my setup. Okay, it's packing time. So I do have two percussion stands. But for some reason, I've not like set one up. I always typically take the one that's already set up. So really what I should do is take the one that's not set up. But for some reason, I've already taken the one that was here. So now I don't have a percussion stand. So, because what I want to do is like sit in, sit out, but because everything's on the tray, it's easier just to lift the tray and walk it out. Um, I, you might know that I have a, a Mapex Armory kit, um, but that's staying at home because uh, there is a kit there. So I'm taking just the breakables. Now, for those of you that aren't drummers, breakables are essentially um, snares and cymbals, sometimes kick pedals. Um, and I've now incorporated um, a stool because sometimes stools they might not have a stool 
or stools are whack and having to do with like two chairs t like piled on top of each other is just not right the right height so you sat like too low which just doesn't work for me um so i always take a stool i've started to be more fussy with a kick pedal to be like um i only know on song three whether or not the kick pedal that's there is actually good enough so i'm like cool i need to rehearse song three prior to anything to just like understand if the kick pedal's right um i'll take my one anyway and now that i've got the new armory kit i used to have an old mapex and birch kit so i have um a yellow kick pedal i'm not sure if you'll be able to see but um i'll shake it uh, down here i've got a yellow kick pedal which is the mapex um and birch one and then in the bag here i've got the actual the new armory kit one so um i'm going to take that as like a backup just in case and then i can just switch them out if i play around i can switch them out um if I need to. So yeah, let's start packing the car. Okay, a couple of extra things. Um, for my in-ears, I have like an audio extender. Um, so it's like a, a female to male kind of connector so I can extend it. So then it's not like pulling on your t-shirt. And also it means that the laptop can be a little bit further away, which is good. Another thing I do when I'm um, putting stuff into the car, I always make sure that I, I have like this to-do list. I found this um, app called A-List, I think it is. Um, where you can have a repeated to-do list, um, like a checklist that you can repeat. <clears throat> so I use that to make sure that I've got everything uh, and I'm just like checking it off while I'm packing it in. And then again, when you're packing it up, you're like checking it off to make sure you've got it back. Uh, it's just to make sure that nothing goes missing. I, I don't have like names on stuff, uh, but generally speaking, I know what's, what's mine because you kind of carry it and carry it out. But that's uh, another intricacy of like making sure you remember what, what you brought with you. And then um, style-wise, <laughs> I think for me, I'm always in trainers and shorts and a t-shirt because you're always running around beforehand. So that's like the most comfortable setup, like wearing trousers or whatever is just, uh, just too hot for when you're lugging stuff around and for actually um, playing as well. So I've got everything downstairs. Um, another thing of the setup is um, IEMs. So Kimmer runs with a... Um, What's I am something again? I can't remember. Uh, in ear monitor, right? An in ear monitor mix uh, that gets sent to her through one of the like the sender things, and then she has a receiver on the back that she clips on. Um, so I also have that, and I literally don't kind of like let the the box go out of my sight, and I don't let my laptop go out of my sight either because um, I don't want anyone to nab it. And I also make sure that I bring two power supplies just in case my Apple laptop power supply goes duff. Um, one time my extension cord went duff. They switched it out, but it seems to be working. So it's one of those things that might have been a, um, a white herring, as they say. It wasn't actually my extension cord. It must have been something else. Um, so I said, now I'm actually going to put it in the car. And then um, we'll get going to the gig and get going to the venue. See you later. Finally on the road. On the road again. Um, and our ETA is that we're going to arrive in 40, 40 42 minutes. minutes. So Which is good. That means we're arriving 20, 18 to 20 minutes early, which is great, as long as we can find the parking spot. Yeah, because we have a parking spot there, which is good. Um, and for my for my, uh, for my fans, if you don't know <laughs> how this like gig stuff works, basically the first person to sound check is typically the last person to perform. So we're, sec we're second in sound check because there's only two performers, or two artists performing. So it means that we'll, as soon as we finish our, perform uh, our sound check, the setup won't be changed, so then we can play our gig when the gig comes up, which is perfect. Because if you're playing like way, way later, you set all your equipment up, then it gets changed three times over before it then comes back to you when you're playing live. I'm not even sure I knew that. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So it's just they do the the orientation of the sound check in reverse to when you're like performing. So then the last person to yeah, sound check so is typically the sense. first person to play. Yeah. So that's so fair. we're last to sound check. Yeah. But we have to still arrive at the same still time. Still arrive early. So. <laughs> and, it, and it's good because you get more comfortable. Like right now, there's like an airport dad vibes going on until you get there and you've like played the track once and you're like, yeah, cool. And then you start to like settle in. Yeah, Dan right is there, definitely so. airport dad, yeah, which is it, great. Because... I'm so appreciative. For Dan's airport dadness, because I am the opposite. Whatever the opposite of airport dad is, that's what I am. Yeah, and it, and it happens with um, things, doesn't it? With uh, what's the names? I think I've gone the wrong way, but let's see. No. Is it just slow? Oh yeah, it's just slow. It might just slow. Which is good. So yeah, Hard we'll see you. Um, we'll see you in the venue. Yeah, I got some Ipsu delivered to my house, 
so we didn't have to stop at Itsu on the way over because what I can eat is super limited now because I don't eat gluten, don't eat dairy in order to like not get acid reflux, in order to not lose my voice so I can keep <laughs> my job as a performer, singer. Um, so Itsu, this is one of their like gluten-free, dairy-free meals and some miso soup and I'm going to get into that. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to fix my hair. I might not even do my makeup because I can always do that in the three hours we have until I'm on stage. So, all right, I'll see you later. That's a joke. Mm. Should we tell Cameron? Or you could just put it down like that, yeah. But we should like tell Cameron. We should message Cameron so they don't think that we've broken it or something. Yeah. Well, anyway, in other news, we are early. Because actually, they've updated the schedule, so I only need to arrive at 3.30 for my sound check. Hey, where's my phone? Um, Where'd you go? It's in there somewhere. Oh, it's just there. It was on my jacket. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, it turns out I'm half an hour early, but that's cool. And you look great. I'm loving the pink. Oh, thank you. And the you. blue stack. Yeah, so hard, so hard, so hard. Go hard, go hard, go hard. Go hard, go hard. Clearly, you are not going to be a good one. Yeah. Hey, it's a long time. How's your sister? I don't care. I'm never going to lie. Give me that job. Yes, I'm going to rest. All right. Sound check is over. So. <laughs> we're, we're both gonna compete our vlogs, uh, and I'm gonna get some of Kimmer's Kimmer's audio and some of us playing together, and um, and then hopefully we'll show you a little bit of the show, and then you'll see the pack up, and then it'll be like done with. So um, see you on the other side. <laughs> We've just come off stage and we're both going to vlog the ending of the gig. <laughs> it went really, really well. Kimma performed very, very well. I drummed very well. The snare drum, it's crack, so, is so tasty. I want to basically stage, um, really that. figure out how it's good. got such a good sound. And good. Um, the other drum was like really like the diss track rhythm. So it's like a, um, what's it called? When you never play the same instrument together and it's all like syncopated like, type thing i can't remember the name of it now I've gone black but I'm buzzing. we've done well good. we're now going to listen to the other band for a little bit and um, see you on the other side yeah i'm hot because the lights are very hot but um, um so yeah i'll see you later it's a wrap we've packed up and now we're going to get some grub. that was amazing guys i'm buzzing buzzing 
It's like that song. We are buzzing. All right, see on this. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, out of focus, a but a bit crusty. But that'll do. See you shortly. And that's a wrap, people. Unpack the car. Now I have to put everything back into the room. <sighs> but maybe that could be tomorrow's job. But overall, 10 out of 10. So um, hope you enjoyed being the roadie and joining along for the gig and seeing a little bit behind the scenes. Until next time, shine bright like a Ryland and I'll speak to you later.